I've been selling New York City real estate for over 15 years. And in the time that I've been running around the city showing people beautiful properties, I have found that there are some really special neighborhoods where you can find amazing deals or just really special opportunities that you can't find anywhere else in the entire world. One of my favorite spots to find some interesting opportunities is Dumbo, Brooklyn. I know Brooklyn's not as cheap as it used to be. It can be almost more expensive than Manhattan in some parts, but what's so special about Dumbo is that it's filled with these hip bars, restaurants, and there's even places to go with families like the Carousel and the Time Out Eatery. But what I love is if you really wanna get an amazing real estate opportunity, you can just walk a little bit further inland from the waterway and you're gonna find some cool lofts that maybe don't have views of the water in Manhattan, but they're really special opportunities at a fraction of the price than being in downtown Soho or in the Meatpacking District. One of the best kept secrets in the five boroughs is Forest Hills, Queens. Forest Hills, Queens is a super special suburban neighborhood that is actually located in the heart of Queens. You can take the E train there from Midtown and what you'll find are beautiful Tudor style homes and also co-op apartment buildings that offer some affordability, but it's all inside of this amazing community that has tree-lined streets and this feeling of being kind of in the middle of New York City, but a suburban oasis. My other most favorite neighborhood in Brooklyn is Red Hook. And what's so special about it is that it truly feels like an artist community. It's one of the last waterfront frontiers in all of Brooklyn. And what's so awesome is you can walk around and experience beautiful restaurants, eateries, and nightlife. You also can see the water. You can look at views of Manhattan from downtown Red Hook. If you want a secret tip for finding some real estate opportunities in Red Hook, you should look at some of the townhouses that are brand new and have high-end finishes in the heart of Red Hook. And then there's also some amazing condominiums that are popping up that offer low-rise community feeling with super chic and edgy finishes. I know it might seem a little bit cliche, but one of my favorite neighborhoods is actually Soho. Soho had a peak in pricing that ran from the early 2000s up until about 2015. And since then, there's actually been a little bit of a correction. You can actually find some Soho lofts that are a really amazing value on a price per square foot level. And honestly, if you're looking at co-ops in Soho, you might be able to get some of the best deals in all of the lofts that are downtown. A pro tip is that Soho is actually bordered by Little Italy and Tribeca and is only steps from Hudson Square and going right into the heart of the West Village. So if you just wanna do a walking tour of Soho and then go to some amazing restaurants and some other neighborhoods, you can easily do that in just a 15 minute walk. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of my favorite neighborhoods in the five boroughs. I encourage you to check out some of these neighborhoods and you are gonna be blown away by how authentic and special they are all in the confines of the five boroughs. If this content resonated with you, like, share, subscribe, send it to your friends. I would love to hear from you about what other neighborhoods you love in the five boroughs and what else you wanna hear about. I've got so much to say.